Hello everyone. <laughs> that was a weird hello, sorry. Uh, good morning or good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you're watching this. Uh, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a pick a card for Monday the 28th of November. Uh, but obviously it's timeless, you know. So pile number one is the blue appetite. Pile number two is the amethyst and pile number three is the amazonite. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile and Obviously, if you want more time, you can pause the video. Okay. Just move these out of the way. So pile number one, the blue appetite. I'm going to read your affirmation first. You actually got two affirmations. Everything is going to be okay. The love within me is more powerful than doubt or fear. So there's no need, I know, I know, when you don't see what's happening and there's lots of chaos going on around you and it seems like sometimes spirits maybe abandoned you a little bit, but you know, sometimes they do these things to push you towards, sorry, that's annoying me, it's not dead center, it's still not, is it? There we go. Sometimes they do these things to push you towards something that you're supposed to be going towards, right? Um, like for example, I, this is just something that I'm. they're telling me to say, so I'm going to say it. Like, if you have a job, and you know, you've always thought, like, ah, oh, it's okay, like, I kind of hate it, but it's okay, but, you know, if they want you to do something else, they're going to start pushing you to the point where, like, it just becomes untenable. You know, like, the, like you get new work colleagues, and they suck, or your new boss is awful, or something, and it's designed to push you towards the next phase. You also have this one. you got three, damn pile one. My patience is being rewarded. My turn will come. So you may be starting to doubt some kind of manifestation. Uh, you're like, oh my God, like nothing is happening. Is anything happening? Am I crazy? Like, no, you're not crazy. It's just, sometimes you have to be pushed, pile one, you know? And sometimes also, it's kind of a little test of faith. You know, like they want to get rid of your doubts and your fears so that you trust in spirit completely because once you do that you take the power away from everyone else everyone oh look at that so you have the ace of cups so this could be new love coming in for you um someone you've been waiting for or someone new <coughs> excuse me <coughs> someone you've been waiting for or someone brand new but i feel it's a newer energy this person may have had problems speaking up for themselves because my throat just totally went so you have the ace of cups um oh my god you have the two of cups so for some of you this is definitely love okay you have a soulmate coming in this is someone new oh my oh my god they're coming in really fast because i also see the terror here oh my god that's a crazy pile so you have yeah this could definitely be love coming in very fast. You have the hanged man, so this could be someone that you were waiting for. It could also be a Gemini or a Pisces, but it's like you had to wait for this person for so long and then they come in really fast. You have the eight of pentacles, so they've been working really hard on this offer. Um, you know, or there's been like a lot going on behind the scenes. You may also meet this person through your work. You may meet them, I don't know if there's something you're particularly good at, like maybe you teach a class or they teach a class or something. Could, could That could be where you meet them. But they've been working very hard on this offer. And with the tower, they're coming in fast now, okay? Um, if you're not looking for love, this could be some kind of new business opportunity coming in for you. Because the Ace of Cups is something that you really love. Something that really speaks to your soul. And it's coming in very fast. And it's something that you're very good at with the Eight of Pentacles, like you have a particular skill. Um, it could be some kind of business partnership, you know, or that could just simply be like your boss kind of headhunting you or something like that. So pile number one, that was your reading. Uh, I hope it was useful. Many thanks for watching. Um, and as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Um, pile number two, you are the amethyst, I think. So let's do your affirmation first. You got two. You have, I am deserving of respect, love, and happiness. I am, is that focus? Sorry, guys. 
I am deserving of respect, love and happiness. I give respect, love and happiness too. Even when things aren't perfect or don't seem to be working out, I choose to trust in life. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, things may not be perfect at the moment or... <clears throat> excuse me, there's a bigger plan here. It's just that when you're on the ground, you can't really see what's going on, right? Like I kind of use the analogy of, you know, if you're at the theater and you've been kind of, it feels like you've been in your seat for ages and they're still not opening the curtain and you're like, nothing's happening. All I see is this curtain, but actually behind the curtain, there's a lot going on, right? They're setting up the backdrop, they're putting on makeup, they're learning their lines, you know, everything's just being perfected. So, just keep trusting. With the amethyst, you might be getting a lot of messages through your crown chakra, pile two. I think you've been learning the lesson, <clears throat> excuse me, that you are deserving of love. And, and ha like, yeah, all these messages, like, I'm deserving of respect, love, and happiness. So you may have been facing a lot of challenges, but these were designed... It's kind of make it or break it. You know, like sometimes spirits send you these challenges and they're like, so are you going to let people treat you like this? Are you going to fall back in on yourself with the familiar shower of self-loathing? Or are you going to say to yourself, no, you're going to give me respect because I give you respect. I am a being of love. I give other people love. I try and make people happy. And I am worthy of that too. Because I feel like you have something coming in here that spirit is trying to be like trying to prepare you for, right? Um, it's something really beautiful, but maybe before, like you wouldn't have felt worthy of it, so you would almost have subconsciously sabotaged it. You have the <laughs> you have the King of Cups, so you could have a water sign coming towards you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Libra. Oh no way! You have the Page of Cups, could definitely be a water sign. That's Pisces energy. You have the moon, oh my god, this could definitely be a Pisces. And you have the star, which is Aquarius energy. Um, <clears throat> sorry. This person may be someone from pile one. <clears throat> because I was having major problems with my throat in pile one too. So this may be someone you've been waiting for. Could be love. Doesn't have to be, but... <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> someone who... Um, has trouble speaking up for themselves or they've had trouble like coming in to make you this offer because maybe they have a little problem with their throat chakra you know maybe they've you know learned over the years that if they speak up for themselves there's a consequence or maybe they're just a little shy um <clears throat> this person could be younger than you uh or they yeah they could be younger but if they are younger they're very mature <clears throat> they're a little repressed, um, I think, in terms of like speaking up for themselves, but also in terms of actions. There may have been some fear on this person's part, which is why they haven't come in sooner, but they've healed that. Um, very, very loving, very giving, very trustworthy, very in control of themselves, but like I said, maybe to the point of being a little repressed. Um, you're not going to see this coming. This is a wish fulfillment and you are not going to see it coming. It's totally going to catch you off guard. Stop moving. <laughs> um, if you are not looking for love, this could well be some kind of creative opportunity. With the Page of Cups, it usually talks about something that is your true path, something that you're supposed to be doing. And the King of Cups, like the, the Suit of Cups can talk about charity work, uh, any kind of creative industry like painting, writing, singing, art, um, spiritual stuff like the tarot, Reiki healing. It can, excuse me, it can also talk about, um, you know, more, not alternative healing, but Western type healing, you know, doctor, nurse, this type of thing. So you may have some kind of opportunity like that coming in for you. And again, you're not going to see this coming. It's a wish fulfillment and you're not going to see it coming. So things don't seem to be working out for you at the moment, pile two, but they are. You just can't see the big picture because it's not, it's not quite, it hasn't been quite ready because you had to feel worthy 
of this person or this opportunity coming in. Could be both. For some of you, I'm kind of picking up that there might be both. Like there might be a, a creative opportunity coming in or like I said, some kind of opportunity associated with the cups. Um, but also I feel like there may be a person. So pile two, that was your reading. I hope it was useful. Um, as always, many thanks for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. And pile number three, you were the Amazonites. So you have, let's read your manifestations. Oh, you only got one. Um, let me just... Today, everything is unfolding perfectly according to a greater plan. So <laughs> those of you in this pile have had to let go of control because, you know, when things are not happening, quote unquote, fast enough, that's just kind of the ego being like, I want it now. <laughs> and I'm really bad for that, you know, um, as well. I think we all are, but... There's a, there was a greater plan here, which usually means that there's lessons to be learned involving everyone, you know, <laughs> everyone involved. So you have the King of Pentacles, you have uh, the Hermit, so you could be dealing with an Earth sign, specifically a Virgo. You have the Queen of Swords. Person might have a little Libra in their chart. You have the Emperor. Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have the Ace of Pentacles. There's an Earth sign. For some of you, there's an Earth sign, possibly a Virgo, coming in to make you an offer. This, okay, let me keep going. You have the Ten of Wands. And you have the Three of Cups. So... This is, for some, for those of you looking for love, this is a date, okay, with someone. It could be someone specific you've been waiting for. It doesn't have to be, obviously, if you don't have anyone like that in mind. Um, like I said, they could be Virgo. They could also have a little Aries in their chart with the Emperor. Whoever this, they could also have Libra. Whoever this person is, oof, they're formidable. <laughs> you know, the Aries, uh, sorry, the Emperor card is someone very mature, um, someone very well respected. They're usually very good at their job. They have a lot of wisdom. They've kind of been around the block. They're very slow moving. King of Pentacles, Hermit, Emperor, very, very slow moving, very cautious, very careful energy, but very stable, very faithful, very loyal. Um, this is a date with the Three of Cups. This is someone coming in to ask you for a drink or something. Very responsible energy. Very, I would say, very introverted, very slow, very introverted, very thoughtful, maybe a little shy. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Um, for some of you, this person may have been involved in some kind of third party relationship with a Queen of Swords type energy. Someone kind of bitchy, someone kind of controlling, manipulative withholding of love, um, which they are putting that down now. They've put that down. So I would say there's an ending. Like you might find out that this person has broken up with someone or something like that. Um, but I feel like this is also you, this Queen of Swords, because you may have been carrying kind of a heavy burden from like past relationships or something from the past that made you a little defensive, which I feel like you're going to be releasing that now or you've already done it and that's why this person is able to come in now. If you are not looking for love, there is some kind of celebration coming in here. Some kind of offer with the Ace of Pentacles, some kind of gift from the universe. Um, we, it's going to make you very affluent with the King of Pentacles. It could be something where you work by yourself, science, um, it could be also you kind of operating your own business, but maybe more by yourself. It may, whatever this offer is, or this promotion, I feel like it's more of an offer. It's going to help you release burdens around money. It could be something, it's some kind of leadership position with the emperor, um, where you may... You may be helping people.
but I feel maybe you would be in charge, if you see what I mean. It may be something to do with speaking, like the Queen of Swords is like speaking, like um, or writing, or even making things, any kind of text. So even like uh, making videos, you know, making media. But, um, she's also she could be a counselor, anything like that. You can Google Queen of Swords occupations, you know, and a bunch of stuff will come up. But it's the Queen of Swords is usually to do with kind of taking information from the ether and delivering it to people in some way. Um, yeah, pile three. So that is your message. I hope it was useful. Many thanks for watching as always. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light.